In this video, I'm going to share with you how to make a complete website in 10 minutes and a few seconds. So before we begin with the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I subscribe as I will get back to you. So the tool that I will be using to build the website is called Builderall. It's an all-in-one marketing platform and I will leave a link below so you can give it a try for $1. So the link will be below in the description. So let's get started with this step-by-step -step video. Here on the Builderall dashboard, click on Website Builder. Here on the top, create new website. And then over here, you wanna select the left one. Now here, we, we can choose from templates that Builderall has. It has all kinds of templates over here that are pre-done for you that you can pick and do. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do from scratch. So let's go ahead and here on the left, click on blank and go ahead and select this one. Click Save. Okay, now here on the left, let's go to Heaters and let's create a new heater. A heater is the top of the page, so it will show on all the pages, like you can add the menu. Now let's go ahead and edit the heater. Here on the right, let's go to panels. Let's look for heater. I'm gonna select this one. Okay, now let's click on the menu to edit, configure items. So I'm just gonna delete the ones that I don't want. I'm gonna edit this first one, and I'm gonna call it home. I'm gonna add an item here, and I'm gonna add one more button, which is gonna call what we do, save. I'm gonna add another one. I'm gonna call it connect with us. Save, save. For now, let's leave it like so. Let's go ahead and save it, okay? Now let's go here back to home on the left, just leave. And now let's take care about of the footer here on the left. Let's create a footer. The footer is the bottom part of the website so that it shows on all the websites at the bottom. So let's edit the footer. By the way, here on the right is where you do everything. So let's go ahead and add a panel and let's look here for footer. Here it is. Okay, I'm just I'm gonna add a simple one. I don't want this, I'm gonna delete it. Click on it and just delete. I'm gonna go ahead here and add from the elements a text. And I'm just gonna add here, you know, my name and my website. Now keep in mind that you can do whatever you want here. I'm just showing you the basics on how to do it. My website, which by the way, if you want to visit, you can go center. I'm going to click and center element. Also, I'm going to add just a line here. All right, where's the line? Okay, didn't add. Let me add it again. Okay, I'm just going to make this line big. I'm going to center and there you go. I'm going to save it. Okay, and I'm going back to home and just leave. Now let's go, he go here to the three dots and then settings. And let's scroll all the way down and here what says heater let's go ahead and select the heater on mobile as well and then footer let's select the footer and here on mobile as well and then hit save this will add the top of the page and the bottom to to that page then let's go ahead and edit this page let's come here to panels and then i'm gonna select this first fold and i'm just gonna select the pre-made panel here to add into my website i'm gonna go with this one okay so it adds right here. I can edit all of this information, right? I'm gonna go ahead and change this text to welcome to our page. I'm gonna change here the font size, different type of text here. I'm gonna make it bold. And I'm gonna change the color here. I'm gonna center. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add from elements. I'm gonna add the image. I'm gonna drag it here to the left. I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna adjust here this box, right click on it general settings, and I'm gonna change the image. I can upload one here, but I'm just gonna select one that I have already here. Okay, I'm just like this one, save. Adjust here the image size. I'm gonna right click on the image, and I'm gonna change the border here for 20, so it has round corners on the image to look a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the image here. I'm gonna go ahead and add a text. Select one, and then just drag it. And here I'm just gonna type a text. Okay, let's adjust here. I'm gonna align to the left so it looks better. I'm gonna adjust here. I'm gonna go ahead and change the text here as well. Now here, this button, call to action. Let's right click on it, edit element. 
Let's go to the headline and let's change here to get my tricks and hacks on making money online free. We're gonna adjust here. Looking good. Now let's go ahead and add here on the right a panel and let's add some testimonials which make a big impact on a website. Just click on it and here it is. Now this button right here, we want to pop up. So we capture user's email. Let's first now save this one that we've just done and that's fine. Okay, let's go back to home here on the left top and let's go ahead and create a pop-up here on the left. Pop-ups, create pop-up. I'm just gonna call it opt-in, save. I'm gonna edit pop-up. I'm gonna add a, a blank panel. I'm gonna ask people here to enter their email below. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and right click on the background and I'm gonna change the image. I'm just gonna go with this one and save just to look a little better. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add a an elements email marketing form. Just drag it to the left. And right here, it's gonna show you the lists of Million Boss, right? I already have a list, but here on Million Boss, you can come here to the autoresponder on the dashboard of Builderall and then, you know, create a list. But I already have one, so I'm gonna select this one and save. Now I'm gonna adjust this to look a little better. Okay, headline, let's go ahead and change here. Let's change here the size, let's make it a little bigger. Let's come here to size, button weight. Let's put it all 100%. Okay, let's go here to field style. Let's center here to the center so it looks better. There you go. Hate field, let's make this bigger so it looks more bold. And let's just see on mobile how it looks. Perfect. Okay, then let's go ahead and save. Okay, let's go back to home on the left. Just leave. All right, now that we have our page ready, Let's go ahead and edit the page. Now let's go to the call to action button and let's go ahead and connect it to the pop-up. So set link and then on the left, we're gonna go ahead and select pop-up and we're gonna select opt-in, which is the one that we've created and then select. All right, that's all. Then let's go ahead and save. That's fine to publish. Okay, let's go to home here again. Just leave and let's go ahead and test it out. So we come here to the three dots and then go to website page and here's our website. Okay, let's click the button, let's test it out. I'm gonna enter an email over here and send it to me. There we go, it's redirecting to the correct page. Now, for you to do a redirect, what you need to do is you need to come here to Mail Boss Autoresponder, then on the lists, in this case, I selected the list legendary. So on here, edit emails page configuration, then here on where it says pages, subscription confirmed, click here. And then on the bottom, on advanced, Scroll down and this is the URL which where it's gonna redirect. So you wanna make sure that you add the URL that you want it to go, right? So back here to the Cheetah Builder, so let's go ahead and duplicate to make the two pages that we want. Let's duplicate again, one more. And let's go ahead and go to settings on the copy one. And we're gonna call this one, what we do, which is our second page, right? Title and the address, I'm gonna call it the same and save. On the second copy we did, let's go to the three dots, settings, and let's go ahead and change the name for contact with us. Same on the title and on the address as well. Save. So now let's go on the left here to the heater and let's edit heater. Now on the menu, let's connect to the pages, right click on it and then configure items. And then let's go ahead and configure home and we put the page name Oh, and by the way here, the target you, you want on the same tab. Save, let's go to what we do here. And then uh, we select page on the left and then we select what we do. And then again on target, open on the same tab. And then save. We're gonna do the same for contact with us link. Let's go ahead and select page, uh, contact with us page and then on the same tab and select and save. Okay, that is done. Let's go ahead and save it. Let's go back to home, just leave. All right, now let's go ahead and change the page what we do, edit page. Okay, let's go ahead and change the title here to what we do. I'm just gonna delete the image. I'm gonna make this box here bigger, align to the middle and put this text like so, so I, you know, you could add more text to it. Okay, just adjust a bit here. Now let's go ahead to the panels here and let's add another panel. Let's go with contents. Okay, let's go ahead and add this one. Just click on it, it will import. Scroll down, here it is. Now this panel, I wanna bring it up. So right click on it, then go here to move panels and then just drag the panel to where you want it to be. I want on the second place and then hit move. There we go. The panel goes to the top like so. 
course, we can change all of this. Let's go ahead and save it. It's fine. Okay, let's go back to home. Now let's go ahead and edit the page contact with us. Okay, let's go ahead and change here the title. Contact with us. This panel, I don't want it, so I'm gonna delete it. Testimonials, I'm gonna delete it as well. I'm gonna make this panel bigger. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this image and also the text. I'm gonna make this box bigger. I'm gonna align this with the center and I'm gonna go ahead and add elements and I'm gonna add a contact form. I'll just select the first one, drag it to the left and here is our contact form. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this. I'm gonna, you know, center. So I'm gonna right click on it. Let's come here to headline, type in here send message. Then I'm coming here to field styles. The border here, I'm gonna add it one so we can see there, okay? Let's click the form and then let's go here to set fields. So right here, I'm gonna add my email where I want people to send it. So in my case, it's fabio at fabiorik.com. The subject, I just want it from a website so I know where it came from. Uh, it says success, so it says message successfully sent, right? So that's good. Fields, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we have all these fields. I'm gonna add one more for text. So text area, and I'm gonna call it your message. Save, oh, tag here. Uh, let's give it a message and save, and then save. And there we go, it's ready to go. Let's go ahead and save. That's fine to publish. Okay, let's go here back to home. And here on the pages, let's go ahead here to home. Let's see our website and test it. So here it is, the website, the menu on top. We got the button here, working. We've tested. Oh, here we have two lines. Oh, I've added two lines. It's okay. I mean, you can delete. So let's go to what we do. Here it is, the website, what we do loads with all the information there, just like we added. We have the button there again working testimonials now let's go to connect with us here's our form let's go ahead and test it out and then send message message was sent successful then uh, let me come here to my email to see and boom there it is the email is there and the message from the website there we go the, the message from website so it is working Okay, back to the website here. Let's come here to home again. Okay, now this logo right here of Builder All on the bottom, if you wanna take it out, just come here to home. Then here, this is the website on the three dots. Go to settings, scroll down, and then un untick this box, made with Builder All button. You can choose the f icon there if you want, and then save. Okay, now let's go back to home here, okay? Now this is the URL that comes with Builder All. It comes with the URL, but if you wanna connect your own domain, you can go ahead and connect it over here. And there we go, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Oh, and by the way, so the link will be below so you can test this tool out, Builderall. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment below saying you subscribed. And make sure to follow me as I do videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday about making money online and helping you become great. And if you know somebody that will benefit from this video, please share with them. Thank you so much for watching. It was a pleasure being with you. Have a blessing day and I will see you next time.